Good day, viewers. Welcome to Afri's Concept TV, your number one reliable channel where you get updated and enlightened on what is happening around you. I appreciate you for the time spent while watching and viewing our channel. So if you are new on this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever I drop any video. Viewers, our uh, today's headline reads an open letter from Namdekanu to Tanko over Supreme Court's judgment review. But before I proceed, please don't forget to click on the red subscribe button as well as the bell button to get updated anytime we upload new videos. The news in details. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Nnamdekanu, has sent a lengthy message to Tanko Ibrahim and his fellow judges over the Supreme Court's judgment review between Ihedioa and Uzodima. I am glad the council to hope Uzodima one Mr. Ododo San considered earlier today under cross-examination by the judges that indeed the Supreme Court can revisit or set aside a previous judgment if there is a slip or clerical error. Note the term slip or clerical errors as I want this morning during our 6 a.m. broadcast. Therefore, the flawed judgment of January 14, 2020 imposing the caliphate slave hope Uzodima on Imo people can in law be set aside. This is an uncontested fact. Equally compelling is the submission by Kanu Agabi San, who clarified in simple terms that contrary to common sense and the law, the number of votes ascribed to the hope Uzodima by Tanko Muhammad and his gang at the Supreme Court exceeded the accredited voters by 128 voters. This is a fatal error and as such is a no-brainer. Previous judgment using falsified figures to impose Uzodima cannot stand before God in heaven, a man on earth. Agabi further submitted that Hope Uzodima in their pleading before the appeal court upon which their case is predicted stated unequivocally that 2019 Imo State governorship election was invalid. Kanu Agabi wondered why Hope Uzodima would now benefit from the same electoral process. His legal team referred to as invalid in submissions. The Supreme Court, in essence, validated invalidity by pronouncing Hope Uzodima governor in the first instance. I insist, therefore, that there exists only one equitable face saving roots out of this mess. APC and Tanko Muhammad have unceremoniously dragged the Supreme Court into the Supreme Court of Nigeria must order fresh election to be held in Imo State. Thank you for listening to this news. Viewers, this is still the same opinion coming from the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Sharing is sadness on the already past judgment concerning the uh, judgment review between Hope Uzodima and Emeka Hedia. The issue between the both of them still center on facts. 
and that fact is that you both of them are still sharing one similarity but then there is still something existing in the part of hope uzodima and that is that and that is the clear fact that the figure that was added to his already generated figure has no clear has no clear um has no clear um, generation where that particular um, value was actually generated it, the, where that value was actually gotten was not clearly defined and that is the area the supreme court is actually getting it wrong so there is still um, an atom of 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 error in this past judgment and that is still what the IPOP leader is still trying to point out you see the both of them still share some similarities and the similarity is that at first hope uzodima was declared winner as the governor of Imo state later after the contest of hope uzodima it was now discovered that some 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 values were missing and so we are not added to the already generated value of opus Odima. and from there after being added it was now declared a winner you can see the towards the, the similarities the both of them are sharing but the fact still remain that after this that has happened the judgment that was passed that now declared hope uzodima a winner is not a fair judgment and that is what now warranted this final review which has now been passed 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 but then i will still say this that the people of emu the emulates are not still comfortable with this judgment but meanwhile um looking at it and and um trying to see what to do concerning this i will say with clear mind that what's doing is what doing well the judges may have succeeded as judges of the supreme court but one thing for sure is this you may you may succeed as a judge here on earth but there is one supreme judge and that is the one that exists there in heaven who sees everything that is happening here on earth yes because i still stand on that fact that the error that that, that error of addition is what affected governor Ehedioha. and the judges has failed to help detect that so even looking at it the whole world still detects that 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 judgment passed by the supreme court is not a fair one so i see no reason why the supreme court will now take it upon themselves and decide what uh, what the judgment should be without fetching fetching facts and this is the reason why this panel the, the seven man panel was set early this morning i i projected i projected and i said 
that this seven man panel we are set up for a purpose and they should work on that purpose there should be no there should be nothing like biasness existing between them well the deed has been done whatsoever that has happened has happened but i will still use this medium to crave the indulgence of the emulates not to worry because the best is yet to come so what is your own comment concerning this news whatsoever it is please don't hesitate to leave it behind click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated anytime we upload new videos thank you